like the uh, RNAV 3-2. <laughs> 574, Mike Alpha, Columbus, approach to Dayton, altimeter 3007. 074, Mike Alpha. For Mike Alpha, top 8,500, base is 2,800, flight run between 8,500 and 5,000. They have CRJ2 that was landing day nerve. Thank you. Roger, thank you for Mike Alpha. Yeah, Let's request see. for the GPS, the free two will be with the next controller at any approach. Roger, Roger. All right, so he's telling us something we already know, something that's within our SOP, given uh, that we're about to enter the same system we just left. Uh, so there's really nothing else to consider. Both airports are above minimums. So should we have difficulty at <clears throat> at Muncie with visibility or ceilings, we'll just go back to uh, Munce, or to uh, Lunkin. And since this is a training flight associated with icing, if we're within acceptable limits on the ice, we'll fly the missed approach at Muncie and return to the field at Lunkin. If we have too much ice to do that by that outside of the capabilities of the aircraft, uh, unable to boot it quickly enough, then we'll not go around. We'll, we'll land and deal with the ice prior to takeoff and reassess whether we should take off. Sound like a plan? Yes, sir. All right, so we can review the weather. We can do that a couple of different ways. This weather page is huge. So the radar we don't need today, weather data link. We can turn on cloud tops, echo tops, which are IR, I believe. Uh, cell movement, lightning, don't need lightning today. Netars. That'd be nice. Not too shabby. More weather. Freezing level. I don't find those particularly useful given the detailed briefing we got earlier. Wind at 12. We could come down to uh, 9 for the winds. We know we have very little wind today. That's displayed here, of course. My reps are turned on. I'm going to turn those off because we've got them already. And uh, that all looks pretty good. Press and hold clear. Takes us back to the nav page. Flight plan adds that detail. We didn't compute a VNAV simply because we don't really need one. We're only coming from 10. But if we wanted to, we could turn on the cursor at Muncie, choose ATK offset, offset of five nautical miles, a thousand above the field, which is uh, going to be uh, essentially 2,000 feet. This field elevation is 937. That populates a VS to target, which we can amend uh, by going to VNAV profile using the little knob to adjust it to exactly. 574, Mike Alpha, contact the Indianapolis approach. Now, 127.15. 2715, Mike Alpha, good day. Okay. Head back, Phoenix Global 690, turn right, heading 250. Indy, good morning, Meridian 574, Mike Alpha, Foxtrot, I'd like the RNA of 32 in a month, level 10,000. Turn in five seven four Mike Alpha, and approach in the altimeter is three zero one two C direct C took cross C took out above three thousand. Clear straight in our never runway three two approach Muncie Airport. Say again for five seven four Mike Alpha. Pretty in four Mike Alpha. The in the altimeter is three zero one two C direct C took cross C took out above three thousand. Clear straight in our nav runway three two approach Muncie Airport. Okay, one two clear direct C took cross C took out above three thousand. Clear for straight in. Uh, Good. So C took caught us a little off guard, but there it is. Just say it phonetically. Say yes to the course reversal. We're pretty sure we won't need it. And he was cleared you direct C took, so we're simply going to choose activate, which by definition Vertical is track. Uh, present position direct. 
Betty says vertical track. So did you uh, contact ask center, it for lower? Did he give you lower? Yes, 3,000, at or above. Okay. And now you know what rate you have to go down, because there it is right there. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it. 